the depth of uh, your imagination is probably not big enough to think of all the things that probably were recorded. The investigation has touched two of the most powerful politicians in the state. House Speaker Mike Madigan and Chicago Alderman Ed Burke. Also caught in the net is Alderman Danny Solis, who for years was the powerful chairman of the city's zoning committee. That's what's so unique about this. Two power players, two parts of the Chicago power structure, one wiring up the other 12 times or more. And Danny was in a position to put Burke with the people he needed to pitch the legal business to. Burke has been charged with trying to shake down a Burger King franchise owner for business for his legal firm when the businessman needed city permits for a location in Burke's 14th Ward. Madigan has not been charged with any wrongdoing, but he was secretly recorded in his law office asking a businessman to hire his firm for legal work, the feds say. The businessman needed a zoning variance from the city to build a hotel. Also in that meeting was Solis. The feds say Solis made it clear to the businessman after the meeting, hire Madigan's firm and things would go smoothly for him with the city. Solis started secretly recording Burke for the feds after they amassed a detailed case against him, which included listening in on Solis' cell phone calls. The feds allege Solis got Viagra, prostitutes, and free use of a farm once owned by Oprah Winfrey for his son's graduation party, among other favors, in exchange for zoning and other city services. There's nervous people in the lobbying world. There's zoning lawyers who would have deal with Danny's committee on very huge projects that are a, a little bit unsettled by this. So it's really has everyone taking um, their temperature to see if they're going to be in trouble.